Hey everyone! Are you trying to decide between the AMD RX 7600 XT and the NVIDIA RTX 4060 for your next gaming rig? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a full GPU showdown between these two cards. We're going to compare them in terms of gaming performance, power efficiency, pricing, and much more. Whether you're a casual gamer, a competitive player, or even a content creator, this video will help you figure out which GPU is the better option for you. Stick around because we've got tons of info to cover. Before we get into it, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our tech reviews. Now let's get started. Let's first take a look at the specs and standout features of both GPUs. The AMD Radeon RX 7600 XT is based on AMD's latest RDNA 3 architecture, which focuses on providing great performance while keeping power use in check. It comes with 2048 stream processors, 8GB of GDDR6 memory, and a boost clock that can go up to 2.6GHz. This card is all about delivering smooth 1080p and 1440p gaming at high settings. Then we have the NVIDIA RTX 4060, which is built on the Ada Lovelace architecture. It has 3,540 CUDA cores, 8GB of GDDR6 memory, and a base clock of 1.83GHz, boosting up to 2.46GHz. Although the boost clock is a little lower compared to the RX 7600 XT, the 4060 comes with some really interesting features, like DLSS 3 and ray tracing, which are things the RX 7600 XT doesn't have. So, both cards bring something different to the table. But how do they perform in real-world gaming? Let's dig into it. Quick reminder, if you're enjoying the breakdown so far, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Now, let's move on to performance testing, where the real fun begins. When it comes to gaming performance, things get interesting. The RX 7600 XT really shines in titles like Call of Duty, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Cyberpunk 2077, without ray tracing enabled. At 1080p, this card can easily push over 100 frames per second with high settings, even in demanding games. That means smooth, stutter-free gaming for those who love high frame rates and want the best value for their money. On the flip side, the RTX 4060 takes the lead when you start enabling ray tracing. In games like Cyberpunk 2077, with ray tracing turned on, the 4060 holds steady around 60 to 70 frames per second at 1080p. While that's lower than the RX 7600 XT's performance, it's still very playable. The secret weapon here is DLSS 3, NVIDIA's technology that upscales lower-resolution images to higher resolutions while maintaining image quality. This gives the 4060 a huge performance boost in ray trace games, allowing it to handle more demanding visual effects without sacrificing too much frame rate. In short, if you care about getting smooth 1080p gaming with lots of visual detail and don't mind foregoing ray tracing, the RX 7600 XT might be the better pick. But if ray tracing and the extra power of DLSS are what you're after, then the RTX 4060 could be the way to go. Now, let's talk about power consumption. The RX 7600 XT draws about 165 watts, while the 4060 is a little more power efficient, coming in at 150 watts. In other words, the 4060 sips power more carefully. This could make a difference if you're building a quieter PC with a more power-conscious setup. While both cards don't need a super high wattage power supply, the 4060 will save you a bit more on the electricity bill over time. By the way, if you're finding this comparison helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated with all our future tech content. So, let's get into the pros and cons of each card to help you make the best choice. First, the RX 7600 XT. It's fantastic for 1080p gaming without ray tracing. You'll get high frame rates in nearly every game at ultra settings, and its price point is really competitive, often making it a great choice for people who want excellent value without breaking the bank. Plus, it's got a solid performance to price ratio, so you get a lot of power for your money. But there are some downsides too. For one, the lack of ray tracing support means you're missing out on some of the more advanced graphical effects that games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Control offer. Additionally, 
It doesn't have NVIDIA's DLSS, so you won't be able to take advantage of that tech in more demanding games. On the other hand, the RTX 4060 has its perks. If you're looking for ray tracing and DLSS 3, then this is the card to go for. It performs well in the latest games with ray tracing turned on and uses DLSS to boost frame rates without sacrificing too much visual quality. The card is also super power efficient, which is perfect for those who want a quieter and cooler system. But the RTX 4060 does have its cons. For one, it's a bit pricier than the RX 7600 XT, especially when you consider the extra cost for ray tracing capabilities. Plus, while it's excellent for ray traced gaming, it's not always the fastest when it comes to traditional rasterized gaming, especially at 1080p with ultra settings. Let's now compare these GPUs to other cards in the market. If you're looking at older models, the RTX 3060 is one card that competes closely with the 4060. The 4060 is slightly better, especially with ray tracing and DLSS support, but the 3060 can still deliver solid performance at 1080p and 1440p without the extra cost. In the AMD camp, we also have the RX 6700 XT to think about. This card is more powerful than the RX 7600 XT, especially in higher resolutions like 1440p and 4K, but it comes at a higher price. So, if you're gaming mainly at 1080p, the RX 7600 XT could offer a better deal in terms of value.